Ready, go. The ready position indicates that all of the firefighters' equipment is on and secured, and the firefighters prepared to demonstrate the evolution. A total of one minute and five seconds is allowed for this evolution, although most fire recruits are reliably in the 40 to 50 second range. The firefighter begins by removing the structure gloves and dropping to one knee into a stable three-point stance. The gloves should be placed under the knee. This reinforces the concept that firefighters should maintain positive control of PPE when removing or adjusting it on the fire ground. The firefighter then loosens the helmet chin strap, adjusts the helmet ratchet mechanism, and places the helmet on the ground. While opening the air bottle's valve, the firefighter compares the bottle pressure with the remote gauge, ensuring that there is not a significant difference between the two, and verbalizes the readings. The firefighter then lifts the SCBA, grasps the edges of the pack frame, and raises the SCBA overhead and onto his or her back. Once the pack is in place, the firefighter tightens the shoulder straps by grasping the adjustment straps and pulling straight down. The firefighter grasps the waist strap, secures the buckle, and verbalizes buckle check while tugging on the buckle to ensure it is locked. The waist strap is then tightened by grasping the adjustment straps on each side and pulling them forward. Next, the firefighter picks up the SCBA mask, forcefully blows into it to ensure that no dust or debris is inside, places his or her chin in the chin cup, and pulls the mesh portion of the mask overhead. The proper order to tighten the mask is to first tighten the lower straps by pulling straight back, smooth the mesh overhead, and then tighten the lower straps again before proceeding to the upper straps. The firefighter then places a hand over the regulator connection and takes a breath. The mask should suction to the face, ensuring a good airtight seal, and the firefighter should verbalize mask seal. The firefighter's hood is then pulled overhead and adjusted around the mask. The hood should frame the mask without impeding the firefighter's vision, but it is critical that no areas of skin are uncovered and exposed to fire conditions. The firefighter grasps the helmet and places it on his or her head, adjusting the ratchet mechanism as necessary. The chin strap is then tightened, ensuring that the helmet's shroud is captured underneath to maximize the thermal protection. Next, the mask-mounted regulator, or MMR, is removed from the waist belt and applied to the SCBA mask, with the red bypass valve pointing straight up, and then rotated 90 degrees to the left to lock into place. It is critical that the MMR be fully locked in place so that it does not become dislodged during fire ground operations. With the MMR in place, the firefighter's first breath will trip the intake valve and feed air from the SCBA bottle. Finally, the firefighter stands up and dons firefighting gloves and claps to denote that he or she has finished the evolution. <laughs>